hi buddies welcome to this video all the youtube creators in africa here and beyond africa but this the channel is specifically focusing on creators from africa and the, in today's video i am gonna share with you something so amazing and something that you didn't know about one of the african youtubers that is trying to copy someone who lives outside africa i want to bring it clear right now i need metal let's go all right let's go boys oh he's running we're kicking this off with a sprint all right and the beginning begins with me waking up good morning october festers <laughs> Thanks if you have tuned into this video before you watch it fully consider subscribing to this channel like this video and share it that will serve a purpose for the algorithm to push it to a larger audience thank you for doing that you are great buddy so there is one African youtuber who has tried to master the art of content creation from the world's greatest youtuber that is Mr Beast Mr Beast hails from US and that is the greatest youtuber at the moment because he has around 233 million subscribers on his channel and remember this he is an individual not a company you know so there is some trick that he uses to hook the audience mm, not what i'm trying to do there is some trick that mr beast has been used using to hook the audience and the audience don't know about this that they are being hooked to watch mr beats mr beast's videos from the first second to the last second of it mr beast is a genius which trick does he use that's what i'm discussing right now and i tell you the content creator in africa who is trying to copy that mr beat mr beast uses what we call the retention editing if you have never heard about retention editing on youtube retention editing is a system whereby if you're editing your videos and they actually it starts from the time you are vlogging or filming your video you make sure you talk so loudly while shouting and people get interested you get the attention of the people by the way you are shouting and bringing up the content you're discussing with them and after that you use a lot of transitions these transitions will make the audience to keep on watching what comes next so this one is basically used uh, by mr beast and it requires a lot of money and skill in most cases people who edit such videos are professional video editors who are damn expensive but if you're doing your videos as a, an individual it might take your time to learn that art of video editing of putting transitions after very few seconds of the video and these transitions keep on hooking up one part of the video to the next part of the video while you are shouting and catching up the attention of the people if you have ever watched mr beast's videos you understand what i'm talking about but if you have to watch these videos you don't understand what i'm talking about so there is one african youtuber who is doing this at the moment so he is on the rise he has less than 100 000 subscribers yet but if he continues using that trick he is gonna blow up on youtube like no one no, no one's business this kind of editing takes time and in most cases people edit videos like this uh they upload few videos in a month you can find that i've uploaded like uh, one or two or three or four videos in a month but those who don't use this type of editing which does not take time you can upload as many as two videos per day two videos in a week three videos in a week like that so who is this content creator i want to tell you about this content creator in africa who is using these skills that mr beast uses to hook the audience that is called retention editing is a ugandan youtuber who is currently based in kenya this ugandan youtuber is raymond Kahuma. Raymond Kahuma is a Ugandan YouTuber. He hails from Uganda, but he, uh, some few years back he decided to relocate from Uganda to Kenya. He's currently based in Kenya. But if you watch his videos, he has, by the time I'm filming this video, he has few subscribers to make 50 subscribers. 50,000 is at 49,000 subscribers guys but his kind of editing videos and the way he films his video is hard to differentiate with the one of Mr Beast I don't know if Mr Beast has been his inspiration or he has been copying Mr Beast or he just did it as himself and it he ended up 
matching the same style with Mr. Beast. That is what I don't understand. Maybe Raymond, you can clarify on this on the comment section if you have watched this video. Tell the crowd what is, if Mr. Beast was behind your inspiration to film videos like him. The shouting skill that Mr. Beast uses is exactly what Raymond uses, and the transition editing from one part of the video to another, which keeps the audience wanting to watch more. Just like Mr. Beast does, Raymond Kahuma does the same. And this Raymond is gonna be one of the greatest YouTubers in Africa if he continues with this. Only that, because of that kind of editing, it limits you, it takes a lot of time. Sometimes you end up uploading two videos in a full month. You get it. But still, he is a creator on the rise to the top. 49,000 subscribers isn't something easy to gain on YouTube. It takes time. And if you reach 100,000 subscribers you get your first reward from YouTube uh, which is physical that is a, a silver button play button so that is it thanks for tuning in consider subscribing liking this video and sharing it it's been your host the life of Daniel thanks for tuning in